In my opinion, this is the second raid on Postville. The first one destroyed the community. This scene from the 2008 raid on the agroprocessor's meatpacking plant still haunts the people of Postville. Hundreds of illegal immigrants were arrested, and owner Shalom Rabashkin was convicted on 86 fraud charges. And now, by giving him a sentence that has absolutely no relation to the, to the truth, they've reopened the wounds. They've divided us again. Because now, you stand up for Shalom, some people want to think you're standing up for somebody who broke the law. 300 people turned out at the sentencing to stand with Rabashkin, his 10 children, and his wife. Our reaction is outrage. Our reaction is why does Shalom need to be treated differently than any other person in the United States of America? Yeah. Why, unlike other white collar criminals, does he deserve to get a life sentence? It's hard to get up to a 27 year sentence for white collar crime. It is very difficult, and the only way he did that was by committing a $26 million fraud, having a sophisticated fraud scheme, committing money laundering that was sophisticated by getting others involved in his crimes. While this may appear to be the end of the case, it is not. It is indeed the beginning of the case. It's round one, if you will. Raboshkin's defense is appealing the case and trying to bring him home on bond, but prosecutors say they're ready for the fight. The defendant isn't the victim in this case, and that's the thing we want to make very clear. Alice Barr, CBS 2 News.